Good morning, everybody. I'm just blessed to be a blessing. This is my reading for my Virgos. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to like and subscribe and comment to my channel because I do read those and I will answer you back. With that being said, let's see what's going on for you guys. So definitely, I feel as though some of you are holding on to your finances a little bit too tight. Some could not be going on too well in your finances department, but it's okay because things will work out for you. You're weighing your options in regard to someone or something. Hmm... But make sure to make the right decision for yourself. I do see an ending here, but um, a new beginning as well. Your life is transforming. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. The hangman tells me you're stuck. Either you or somebody you're dealing with is stuck. Not moving forward or backwards. This is a decision that needs to be made. You can't stay in this position. You have to keep it moving. There's definitely a lover's relationship, but somebody's going to be coming to visit somebody here. Somebody's been thinking about somebody as well. It is what it is. Love is on somebody's mind. I do see it's a very creative time for somebody. Somebody keep thinking about a whole lot of things that's taking place within our life. And I see that somebody hasn't been in hell and back in regard to some, but there's an ending to this card because it's a ten of bats. The ten of bats is an ending. Somebody took you through it or you took them through it. It is what it is. Or vice versa or both. It is what it is. But I see it's a partnership that's, that's definitely weighing on your mind here. There's an earth sign that's coming towards you. All right now. The star card tells me you're thinking about your destiny, your dreams, your hopes, wishes to be fulfilled. And I see somebody's feeling left out in the cold in regard to someone here. And somebody's up at night wearing they can't sleep. Got a lot of shit going on on their mind. Y'all know they say, shit, joy comes in the morning. Lay your ass down and go to sleep. Can't do shit about nothing you can't do nothing about. It is what it is. I also see somebody leaving a situation behind going on to, to brighter and better waters, you know, leaving some behind. You don't want to deal with it anymore. Because that's a new beginning on the horizon. Do some of the opportunities about the oh, love is gonna be overflowing for you. See what I'm saying? Look at the look at that. The ace of ghosts. This goblin is overflowing. Things are gonna be looking up. So if you're going through a little something, something right now, it's okay because life ebbs and flows. It is what it is. And I do see you finding intuition in regard to things that are taking place. It, with the high priestess, she's saying, shit, you better follow your intuition in regard to things. Pay attention to the signs from your ancestors, Orishas, and gods. Orishas and gods. Angels, your gods, your ancestors. Everybody, they always sending you some signs. Pay attention. And just be wise about the decisions that you make, okay? Thank you.